Okay, I think we have everybody. Can everybody hear me okay? Okay, I'm using my outside voice and a little bit of amplification. Uh, so thank you for joining us today for the official grand opening of North America's largest power to gas facility uh, powered by hydrogen. We're very, very excited to be here today. It's been a long time coming. Uh, today, we will hear from Jim Sanders, who's the uh, president of Enbridge Gas Distribution, Daryl Wilson, who's the CEO of Hydrogenics, <laughs> Mayor Scarpetti, and MP Bob Soroya. Okay. And uh, following the speakers, uh, we will have a chance for question and answer. Plus, uh, we will have a uh, tour of the uh, facility and we will also, our community events team has uh, brought some refreshments and, and light snacks for today. Um, as part of our safety focus culture, um, I, I want to remind you of in the event if there's an emergency, the uh, muster point is out the, uh, the, to the right here and to the uh, sidewalk along the street. Um, and also, as part of our safety culture, we start every meeting with a safety moment. And given today is going to be another 31 degree day with I don't know how much humidity, um, please remember to stay hydrated. It is very important. That's why we have a, a lot of water here today. Um, heat stroke can come upon you very, very quickly. So without further delay, I'd like to call on uh, Jim Sanders for a few remarks. Thank you, everybody. So first of all, as uh, president of Enbridge Gas Distribution, I just want to welcome you here today to our Technology and Operations Center. We're very proud of this center. This is the facility that we use to train uh, our own staff, our contractors, and many of the, the municipal uh, first responders as well. Um, today is uh, the site of a major milestone, as, as Anne had mentioned, in the Ontario energy sector, and I'll say the North American energy, energy sector, as this is our, the first power to gas facility uh, using hydrogen. So I've heard the question already a couple of times today, and I'm probably going to leave this to Daryl to explain most of it. What is power to gas? Well, it's exactly like it sounds. It uses a made in Ontario innovation, courtesy of hydrogenics. Uh, th this facility uses surplus clean electricity to produce hydrogen. Why hydrogen? Well, hydrogen is a great way to store energy during the times when Ontario generates more electricity than it can use. Once stored, we can use the energy when and how we need it. Today's site will provide an effective energy story to help keep energy, Ontario's energy power grid uh, reliable and stable. In the future, hydrogen can be used to fuel fuel cell vehicles. We can potentially and eventually blend it with our natural gas system to lower the carbon content. And we can also use it to complement uh, natural gas fuel for heavy vehicles such as transport trucks uh, that are currently using diesel. And also in the future this technology could be used to reduce the new energy infrastructure like new plants or distribution wire costs as well by using the assets we have in the ground today uh, in the natural gas system. By reducing energy costs for Ontario consumers uh, this will also help to be a critical success factor going forward. I've worked in the energy sector for almost 30 years, hard to imagine, but this is truly one of the most exciting uh, facilities I've seen produce, a true change in the way that we produce, store, and distribute energy in the province. I'm especially proud to see a Canadian company like Enbridge leveraging world-class technology from hydrogenics to solve a very interesting challenge. Now I'd like to invite our partner to join us. Uh, that's Daryl Wilson, president of Hydrogenics, which is based here in Mississauga. Daryl is used to these announcements, I'm sure, by now. He has done quite a few of these all over the world, uh, the first time in Ontario and probably the first time in Canada. Uh, but I think he would agree this is really a special one. Because this time we're announcing that we're using this technology right here at home in Ontario. Daryl. Good morning and thank you, Jim, for your leadership. Uh, Jim is an innovator. 
And it takes innovators to take on projects like this along with Hydrogenics, and we thank you for his, uh, him for his leadership. And also Cynthia, who's here this morning. We met just a couple of years ago for the first time, and already she's providing very strong leadership. Sometimes they say elephants can't dance, but I can tell you this large company, Enbridge, has certainly worked very, very well along with us, and we're deeply grateful uh, for that partnership. Jim did a great job of explaining the high-level reason we're doing these kind of facilities. Uh, let me just add this. For too long, we've had kind of three solitudes of gasoline in the gas tank and electricity to keep the lights on at home and natural gas to heat our homes. We don't need to do that. Hydrogen is an energy carrier that can stitch together the various elements of our energy world and use one clean, zero-carbon means of doing it. And that's what's been the backbone of our company going back now to 1995. One of our founders, Joe Cargnelli, is here today. Uh, it's been a long quest. And frankly, we live for moments like this when we start to see our technology moving into the mainstream. But it all takes teamwork. Uh, I want to mention one other important person at Enbridge, a, a keen innovator, a tenacious guy, David Tykrobe. I met David 10 years ago. Uh, and his leadership, Dave's over here, um, Well-deserved well recognition. It takes innovators like David to keep the, the light alive and, and to move innovations into, into reality as we're seeing it today. And I also want to thank uh, the IESO. A very innovative procurement was put forward just a few years ago to, to enable new leading-edge technologies to be used for important energy storage and stabilization services. And without their design of the procurement and thoughtfulness in putting this all together, we wouldn't be standing here today. So we have a tremendous example of teamwork between Enbridge and Hydrogenics and the IESO and all of the folks on the team to make this work today. And I especially want to thank my team. I worked long hours to make sure that we could be operating here today. So thank you all very, very much. With that, I'm going to turn it back over to Anne, but just a comment about our host. Markham is the scene of North America's first power to gas plant, and we're very pleased about that. So thank you, Daryl. It's such a pleasure to work with you on such an exciting project. And now I'd like to welcome His Worship, Mayor Frank Scarpetti, to the podium. Well, thank you very much, uh, Anne, and I uh, want to say welcome to, uh, to Markham. Welcome to certainly a greener Markham uh, this morning. Pretty excited to be here with all of you. I want to take a moment to also recognize uh, the local councillor here who's a, a great advocate of this whole area in Markham and certainly someone who embraces uh, innovation. He's the vice chair of our Economic Development Committee, uh, Alan Hull. Welcome, Alan. Thank you very much for being here. And I uh, want to recognize as well Graham Seaman from our sustainability office. Uh, Graham is there along with some other members of our staff. Thank you very much for, for being here. So this is uh, an exciting morning. And, and Jim, I want to say congratulations uh, to you and, and to Cynthia, really to the entire uh, team at, at Enbridge. Uh, we get thrilled when we see this new technology being embraced. And, and really, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this, you know, the, the fact that that we're at about 339,000 people uh, in the city of Markham, growing to well over 400,000 uh, in the next 15 years. And uh, we too are looking for ways to utilize the assets that are there so we don't have to create a bigger footprint to, uh, to energize uh, many of the new homes. So the timing couldn't be better. And Cynthia, I, I just want to say thanks uh, for all the meetings that we've had and, you know, uh, sort of, we've been uh, sort of trying to get each other uh, engaged is how we could work together uh, more. And, and I want to talk about our, our record so far because I think the city of Markham and Enbridge has really done a great job in, in collaborating together. And Daryl, to you and, and your team, uh, you're telling me this is technology that's been around for ages and we're finally getting smart enough to use it. 
Uh, so it sounded a little like the, the beta versus the VHS uh, debate, but this one went on much longer and it's, uh, I'm glad that the winners finally uh, emerged. And uh, always great to be uh, at a new facility in the city of Markham, particularly when it uh, reduces our, our carbon footprint in this community. And obviously by doing that locally, we, we do it in the world as well, and, and particularly something of, of this magnitude. And for me, it, it signifies the, the belief uh, in, in our community. And uh, uh, Daryl, you know, you said glad to be here in Markham. Well, well Markham really has a, a reputation of being green. Uh, largest diversion rate for waste in the country, the largest uh, solar portfolio uh, on municipal buildings uh, in the province. Uh, we have 16 uh, new uh, charging stations at the city of Markham. Uh, so we're embracing uh, electric vehicles and we just won uh, the green, one of the Greenest Employers uh, Awards. So, uh, you know, it's something we're very, very proud of and this just fits so well with us. Um, it's also about creating jobs and I think uh, uh, hopefully all levels of government will begin to understand that, that sustainability can create new jobs in a new economy. And I think it's important to realize that uh, being more green does not always mean at the end of the day that we have to subsidize everything or that somehow it's going to cost us more in the end. In fact, this is about reducing costs, reducing the, the carbon footprint. I just want to uh, compliment uh, Enbridge for the great way that they've worked with the, the city of Markham. Uh, certainly this is one of the uh, innovations that you've brought to our community, but we've actually been working together for some time uh, really trying to reduce our, our carbon footprint, particularly in the older areas of, of Markham. And in 2011, uh, we did set a goal of becoming a net zero community by 2050. It's a big goal, but I think we can get there, particularly with uh, innovation like this and partnerships like this that will, uh, will uh, make it achievable. Just in, in uh, about a year later, in 2012, we embarked on an amazing partnership uh, with Enbridge in a pilot project just in, in one area of our, our community uh, as a way of making those older homes more energy efficient. And I can tell you that that program took off, the public embraced it, and uh, we ended up uh, expanding that to all of Enbridge's territory uh, in the city of Markham. And I can tell you by August of 2012, there were 270 Markham households that were retrofitted. And by 2017, there's been 6,000 households. So your, your record along with us is, is a good one in this community. And I have to say, uh, I'm really pleased the way we've been working together, particularly uh, at looking how we get to 2050 being net zero. We just approved uh, a municipal energy plan, which Enbridge uh, has been part of that team to help us figure out uh, how we get there. Uh, just not too far away from here, uh, I talked about the growth of Markham. Uh, we have uh, several thousand homes that are going in. And part of our challenge is, as it is for, for roads and, and all of the other hard infrastructures, how do we minimize the infrastructure that's gonna be needed to service those homes? And I think you've given us a big part of the answer because I understand with the capacity of just what is here, and it's not that big, you can store up to eight megawatts of, of power which can power thousands of homes. And I think that's a big part of the answer, to be able to store power off peak so that during the day, when we need it, we can, we can uh, curve the, the peaks and not build something to the ultimate capacity uh, because we, we've been able to use uh, this new technology. So I say congratulations to both Enbridge and to Hydrogenics, to the IESO, to the Energy Board, everyone that's been involved, because if we don't start thinking outside the box, we are gonna be boxed in and uh, that's not a nice place to be. So I congratulate the both of you and all of your teams. Well done. And um, before I escape, uh, I just wanna mark, uh, if I can ask both Daryl and, and Jim to come up uh, and uh, Councillor Hull, if you could join us as well. Maybe we'll just go out front here. Uh, just got a certificate uh, congratulating both the organizations for the, the grand opening here today. Thank you for making our world a greener place. 
and uh, congratulations once again. So thank you. Thank you very much, Mayor Scarpetti. And it is now my honor to call uh, MP Bob Soroya to the, uh, to the podium. Thank you, Anne. Um, uh, thank you for the invite and um, His Worship, uh, Mayor Franz Scarpetti for Markham, James Saunders, President of Enbridge Gas Distribution, Daryl Wilson, President and Chief Executive Officer from uh, Hydrogenics. I asked my staff, what is it? What we are doing? <laughs> so he tried to explain something to me. I said, what are you trying to tell me? Something we used to watch a few years ago in the movies. So this is uh, what I understood, what Daryl and everybody else tell me. This is something good is happening. And thank you to Mayor Scarpetti, who always take a chance. He is always innovator. He's always uh, looking forward. Um, Enbridge is a great local employer in the heart of our community. Hundreds of Markham families depend, depend on Enbridge for their livelihood, and many, many more depend on, your, on you to power their homes. That is why I'm so proud to be here today at, at the grand opening of North America's first major gas energy storage facility. This joint venture between Enbridge and Hydrogenics brings world-class technologies and quality jobs to Markham, Canada's high-tech city, high-tech capital. With all the recent talk about soaring energy costs, solutions like this facility will serve as a valuable tool over time in providing relief to families and businesses. Not only can an electricity-based facility like this contribute to reducing energy cost. It also valuable investment in a renew renewable and clean energy. It strikes that it strikes the balance between sound economics and responsible environment stewardship. Thank you for choosing Markham and appreciate it. Anything I could be help, anything we could be tell from the from the federal side, you can always count on us. Thank you. Okay, with that, we have uh, some time if anybody has any questions they'd like to ask of any of our speakers. Everybody explained it really well? <laughs> nice and simple? <laughs> okay, so with that then, uh, we are now open for some tours, plus we also have some refreshments and, uh, and some, uh, some food, some appropriate for today, something light. So please uh, stay, take a, take a tour and uh, enjoy some food. Thank you.